I'm here at Naima's garden again, and this is the chicken system. We've had a big storm. We had 42 millimeters of rain on our rain gauge, but I'm here to show you the amount of growth since I last filmed the garden. Now there's been a little bit of wind damage on this end, but we've got this much growth since we were last here. So it's only been a month, and this is the first rain, and this is all organic. The boys are growing this. One young son for each garden bed. It's got tomatoes coming on. Quite nice corn there, uh, which is a heavy feeder. What do you think of that, and it's the fun? It's amazing growth. I think there is very, it, very- It is healthy. amazing growth, yeah. considering it's on rock. Look at that corn cob coming up. That's quite a corn cob. Really We're growing that on solid rock. Huh? It's all about feeding organically in this case, and it's feeding with this stuff. Chicken tractor system on steroids is my nickname for this. The mulch from under the roost, it's been manured on for a week. Equal amount of large animal manure, which in this case will be sheep and goat mostly. And then food scraps on the top, making more than the cubic meter. The chickens dissemble it and we put it back together every week. Five weeks later, we got the fertilizer to get something like that up and rolling. I did notice they've brought in some pigeons. So it looks like we're going to build a pigeon loft as well. But starting with that kind of rock, and there may be another garden up where that rock is later. What do you think of that, Adam? Amazing. <laughs> Three months, four months. <laughs> Look at that growth. <laughs> I mean, the fertilizer's sitting right there and it comes out all the time. It goes straight into the system and then you have all the excess produce that's going straight back into the chickens. Yeah, okay. Plus we got eggs, plus we got some spare birds. You have the grapes coming here on the side, which eventually will be able to grow over the chicken coop and then in turn feed the chickens as well. So what do you think of that, girls? Quite yeah, unusual. It's, it's wonderful. It's, it's impressive. Amazing. Yeah, even the edges are so amazing, uh, abundant. What do you think about that, Louis, on, on solid rock? It's amazing. Three it's months. completely amazing. That's the compost chicken tractor for you. It's hardly believable. Well, what do you reckon? I can't believe it. I mean, how long did this take? This is three months from solid rock. Three months. And the rock was this high. It was up to your shoulder. They, 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 chip, uh, they, they yeah. chip the rock away. Yeah. Now you must say hello. Everybody, everybody thinks your garden is absolutely amazing. You should be really, really proud of it. All right? You should be famous. A quick view from the garden is this beautiful little food forest here. Nitro and Fix is on the end, their eldest son. They're showing us what they do. They clean the car park here, they clean the parking area, they clean the seating area, they wash it off. But a byproduct of washing the garden is actually watering this little section of food forest. There's a marriage party tonight, so there's a, a few chairs piled up because there's going to be a few people here. Food scraps, they're going to go to the chickens. Cleaning water, it's going to go to this food forest. So we're really talking multifunction. And so we've got herbs on the ground, legumes all the way through it, great production on the papayas. That's a papaya anybody would be proud of. Here's uh, moringa. We've got penicetum soaking up the nutrient on the end here as well, which can be a great carbon mulch. Here's Mohammed. Naima and Mohammed are the ones who've done all this hard work, and it's a great testament of what can be done. Fantastic stuff.